The following program is brought to you by Jack Miller. It's Down to Business with Jack Miller. Forget what they teach you in school. This is real life, not Wall Street, but Main Street. A real show on what's really involved with starting and running a business with all the ups and downs. Our guests will answer your questions and provide you with valuable information. Stay tuned and join in the conversation. Hello, everyone. This is Jack Miller and Todd Cohen again. Thank you for joining us. We are just answering some of your questions about real estate, finance, I don't know, general things. Uh, Todd, you know what I think the, the general answer is? Real estate can be a gold mine. And biz- small business, opening up a business can be a gold mine, but it also can be a disaster. That's right. And I kind of equate it to you have to walk through a, a field of landmines. If you get to the other side of that field of landmines, it's great. But to get to the other side, there's a lot of landmines. And there's a lot of things that need to go right for you, uh, you know, and line up in the right way. And, and you really need to understand, I mean, the art of the deal and negotiating with tenants and understanding how to negotiate with the seller and buying it and financing it right. I mean, there are so many factors that can make or break a deal. And, you know, it's a lot. And if, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. And we'd all be millionaires. and We'd all be leasing space to each other. For various reasons, and uh, everyone will be happy, but it's not like that. I think you need to measure twice, cut once. You need to take it slow. You can't bite off more than you can chew. You need professionals, and a lot of people think they're going to get rich in it uh, very quickly, and there's a sign outside my door that says, get rich slow, and I think that's really what it comes down to. Um, We only have a few more minutes, believe it or not. It's hard to believe, but a couple other things, and one you talked about, so I want to go through this. Can I buy a – and I got this a bunch. Can I buy a property or finance a property in LLC and what – as opposed to my name and what's the advantage of it? Uh, my comment to that would be always use a special purpose entity. And if the properties are sizable, use a separate entity for each property. Don't put three or four big commercial properties in an entity. If there are a bunch of single-family homes, you can use one LLC, but definitely speak to an attorney about that. And we've had, as Todd said, some good ones on the show. We had Dan Caskell, who's fantastic, Brett Elam, who's great, uh, Steve Wallace, who's great, and they're all real estate attorneys. uh, Yeah, and feel free to tweet or call either of us and, and get contact information if you can't find it. We're happy to provide. Talking about Twitter, I don't know. I, I, I actually thought that Scott Walker would be a great guest. Yep. So people are so crazy. So I tweeted him like Sunday night or Monday night, whatever, you know, see if he wanted to be a guest. I had some of the people send me the nastiest tweets back. Really? People just are online and you could see their Twitter account is just anti whoever. And they like to like yell at you back. Right. And they're calling him morons and they're so nasty. And I don't respond. I don't, I don't know about you, but on social media, if you say anything that's slightest bit controversial, like on any of the hot button topics or any of the candidates in political arena or about gun control or abortion or the Pope or whatever – I mean, you are just going to get trolls even from your own followers uh, who uh, you are supposedly your friends and should have similar viewpoints to you on most things. Wait, uh, they don't. Well, can I, <laughs> you believe you me, what, you'll get people uh, that come out of the woodwork and, and, and just grill you and everyone else who replies to your comment. Wait, so this past sat- – people are so cra- – talking about that, people are so crazy. I, I got to tell you, this past Saturday I was at synagogue. And I did what's called Hagba, you, you hold the Torah up. So as I'm doing this, a friend of mine who's the most liberal guy in the world, which I'm not saying is bad, and I goes, oh, I heard you interviewed Michael Reagan. How could you do that? He's such a blah, blah, blah. So I said, Steve, did you listen to the interview? It was a deeply personal interview. Oh, I've heard him a million times. I don't need to hear what he says. The guys, I mean, but, I don't but that's, want- that's the world we live in. People literally are so myopic. They're so My, narrow. Myopic or myopic? Myoptic? Don't, <laughs> myopic. Don't say that the last. Myopic. Okay, they're so narrow minded, though. Yeah, it's I unbelievable. Agree. They. They, people are not willing to give the benefit of the doubt or even listen to the other side of any argument. They've made their mind up whether they are, you know, learned about a subject or not, and they, they, they know what they know, uh, and that's it. Uh, you're 100% right. And they hate, liberals hate conservatives. Her, conservatives hate liberals. Everyone's nuts. I love everyone, by the way, especially the female sex. 
Um, bring, bring an educated take to the table. I, I respect someone who understands all of the issues and argues their side, even if it's different than mine, from a point of education, not from a point of hatred, from a point of, you know, inbred, you know, from generation to generation, you know, racism and, and hatred and fear mongering and, and an uneducated, ignorant viewpoint. Todd, we have two minutes left. Why don't you give out your contact information? It's Todd Cohen. I'm with Marcus and Millichap. I will help you with all of your real estate investment needs. I will also help you with life issues, as you see on this show. Give me a call, <laughs> 786-522-7021. And ladies, he's married to a very nice lady. Todd, I happen to be going to the Flyers game this Saturday oh, I'm night. I'm excited. I'm excited. We see our Flyers fans Sea of there. orange and black, baby. Yes, yes. My wife loves it. And we're meeting some friends there. I'm very excited Hockey about it. Hockey season. Yeah, is it? I guess yeah. it is. We're going to the Flyers Look, game. Look, and I, you know, in other sporting news, I guess everyone knows the Dolphins fired their coach. They also fired their defensive coordinator today. Maybe we'll talk the about baseball that. playoff started. Yep. We got 100%. And we got Roger Stone. This guy is so controversial. He, like, lives for controversy. So next week is going to be an explosive, explosive show. It's going to be good. So do some research on him. Wow. It's like after eating bad Mexican food or something. Oh, I, I, the guy is just, you know, he's a contra. He has he has strong opinions, so I'm excited about it. It'll, I can't wait. Have it, a great week, everyone. Thank you, everyone. This is Jack Miller. Tune in, and we will see you next week.